I've never heard of this man before. What kind of... What kind of films did he make? Or what kind of movies did he... Or not movies... YouTube. Wait! Was that Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Hold on. Is he currently opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Oh, magic? Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. He has a corgi! A Mike Cum production. Oh, Clum production. Sorry. Okay, wait, I have a very serious question, though. So, Boogie, is he that famous that some, some like, YouTubers like, Yo, I want to make a documentary about your life. His style life is kind of interesting in a sad train wreck kind of way. Oh, he's that famous? Okay. In 2018, $750,000. That's so much money. I don't know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The only thing I've ever done with it is I threw it in the crypto and then lost a shitload. Oh, <gasps> he put $750,000 in crypto? Holy shit! So tomorrow, when they take mortgage out, I'll have about $700 to live off of until the 20th when I get paid again from YouTube. So I'm just going to live off of $700. And I'll probably sell some cards along the way and use that money to make ends meet as well. Oh my god. This is so house. sad. I think my net worth is zero. Once you pull the equity out of the house, get rid of the house debt, sell off all my collectibles, it's zero dollars. This is insane. Shit. I'm worthless. At least you have your cute dog with you. Yeah, this is the hard part. Back to reality. Uh, I started the YouTube channel back in 2006, right at the very beginning, sharing my personal life with other people. The kind of woman I married, so give her some love in the comment section. Give her as much money as I used to make, and it's not exactly enough to make ends meet. Yet. This is where I spend six to eight hours a day trying to figure out how to save my career. So I wonder how much money he gets monthly from do. YouTube. Like, what is his like monthly like, income? Yeah, that's not very much for 2, 2K is not right enough. Now. I mean, depending on where yeah, he lives, but like if he's in California, on, that's like, that's not enough to live off. You know where a lot of the money went? $200,000? One of his escorts? I'm a former sex worker escort and Boogie2988 was one of my clients. I took women on vacations and I took them out to fancy dinners and I took them to like Disneyland and shit. Oh, Disneyland. Dinner, and he spent well over 5000 on just that night. Holy. You know the rules. It's not a revelation. I like beautiful women. I like to hang out with beautiful women. Fuck beautiful women. We all do. I never got to do that. The okay, let's let's take a pause here. Where are my beautiful women? But it's not fair. Why we not me? Back to the hotel and Where's I my woman? To say that I slept with Boogie 2988. There is rules upon rules upon rules and it took me a lot of time to find a stick. <gasps> I am now married with two kids, and sleeping with Boogie is one of the reasons I quit sex work. <gasps> oh my... Is that uh, sexist uh, to me? Sure. Is that womanizing me? Sure. I don't really care. Here we have some of the women in this area that are local and... Is this Boogie? Uh, yeah, it's Boogie. It's window shopping, right? Like any other meat market like tinder you i don't like the fact that he like calls it me. meat market shopping i mean yeah i guess you're paying for a service that a woman is advertising but like calling it a meat market is kind of yeah yeah, yeah yeah i deserve to go to to new york and explore Times square with a beautiful girl okay i can't i think i think i i think i get it now he is in cell behavior when he says i deserve to go to new york I deserve to go to Times Square with a beauty. I deserve to go to Disneyland with a hot woman. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, okay, I dude. Yeah, that. okay, dude. And I want that, and I've never You had can it. want things, but it doesn't mean you deserve it, right? It yeah, guys, I deserve to go to Disney World with a hot woman right now. Give me all of your money. Send me your life savings, because I deserve it. Done and done. <laughs> uh, Mac, please send the, the credit card yeah, number and the last four digits. <laughs> So selling off these things kind of sucks. Like was a they're a piece kid. of my childhood. They're a he piece was a cute of kid. my history. I thought I was going to get buried with this stuff. I'm really curious as and, to what kind uh, of videos he makes. I kind of want to like watch YouTube one of them. Month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something like that. I just, I'm not making enough. So we're going to go to the game shop. This is going to keep me from going out. On His monthly expenses is 6,500. I feel like that's way too much. He lives in Arkansas, right? It's pronounced Arkansas. 
Is it medical bills, maybe? Monthly expenses shouldn't be 6.5k. I live in California and I don't, I don't, I don't use that much money. And I'm gonna sell enough to help with mortgage, but I'm also gonna sell enough to be able to play Magic tonight. I What's this vid? It's the Boogie documentary. Know like, knowing I'm broke, like that's embarrassing. I can't afford $30 to play Magic. So I'm spending 30 bucks to play Magic tonight. Okay, does he have to play Magic though? Okay. Can't he so play Magic online month, arena? I need for free? About a thousand dollars to make mortgage. Well, I could do 200 a piece on those. What? Dude, I thought we were looking more like 400, 450. This is like me trying to sell my Ash Blossom. As long as I'm getting mortgage money, as long as I'm getting some cards there tonight, okay. Wait, he just yeah, spent 15 bucks shop. on Taco because Bell. It doesn't shit. help when you're we're buying fast women, food. You should make your own food if you're not to. Uh, making food is I'm a lot cheaper. Like for me, is... for example, I don't make enough money to go buy fast food every day, which is why most of my meals I either skip or I eat at home. Because if I ate fast food every day, I would go negative, you know? It's just not good money sense. Magic on occasion, like, like on a Saturday night and my friends go out, that's when I go eat food with my friends outside. That's like my gathering, once a week, like, crack, let's go get cocaine. something nice. I'm Stop skipping guy, meals. Uh, Listen, skipping meals is free. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't got to spend no money for that shit. I think he's uh, a good guy, yeah. I think that Boogie's definitely a, a good guy. Uh, Boogie's a good one guy. One of his friends and his okay. family, and he cares about people a lot, and he cares about what people think about him a lot. To be he needs around to, and to laugh and make have a true. financial advisor. We open up and we have like really personal conversations. Or just like a friend to tell him like stop doing. As well. I think he's just a guy. <laughs> With good and bad. The N word is just a word. What? I like offensive humor. I like dark jokes. I say fucked up shit. I think the darker hmm. something is, the hmm. more important it is to make jokes about it. Okay, dude. I feel, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. Where it really went south is when one guy spent like a month of his time gathering every link, every video clip, everything I'd ever said or done since 1998, and he compiled it into this one huge mega thread. And every time my name would get mentioned on Reddit moving forward, they would all link to that mega thread. Well, Holy. these people on Reddit began to bombard my sponsors. This is a lot. Every time I got a new sponsor, they would they drop. Uh, okay, okay, so this is like where he was peaking, right? Annual income $26,000? That's like, I think that's less than the, like minimum wage worker at fast food though. Well, in California, okay, listen, I only know California minimum wage, sorry. $7.25? Huh? Wait, that doesn't sound real. <gasps> Holy shit! How do you live? That's the neat thing. You don't. I can't even... I can't even think about how I would live if I... in California. Here's everything that's wrong with Boogie. Sleep apnea. Chronic back pain. Is protein in urine. That's from mm. kidney damage, folks. That is everything keeping me alive. Otherwise, if I don't wear this machine... That's, yeah, that is a lot of meds. Oni has sleeping, sleep apnea, I'm too. drowning in my own fat. Vitamin D sufficiency, because like most gamers, I hate the sun. Morbid obesity, major depressive disorder, major anxiety disorder. Holy moly. History of diabetes mellitus. History of basal cell carcinoma, that's cancer. Well, and of course I can't breathe so good, so I'm just and glad to say I'm as well. healthier than this man. We're it's happy. A game now, Damn. And it's just about making the best of it. You enjoy what you got when you got it. Mm, that doesn't Sometimes mean go a, spend money and game. go fuck cookers, but okay, dude. And stop spending money on fast food. Cook food at home. Save money. Live better Walmart. Drowning Osmus. <laughs> well, he's losing what made people originally uh, it's, like. it's a roller coaster. It, it could be as simple as positive attitude. Why not use your only life to make the lives around you better? Fuck See, that's you. a good it's attitude to have. Business. It's my body, it's my choice, eat shit. And over time, in the content, you oh. see this shift where he starts to become more interested in money. I just like making content. I just like talking to a camera. I just like doing cool stuff. I just want ad revenue. I just want YouTube to pay me a fair amount. It's all I've ever wanted, right? And his concerns about money. If I could teach you anything, it's to hold on to the money you get. He's 
has changed so much from when you started. You were such like a sweetheart back then. Hold on to the money you get. If you can make someone's life a little bit better, you know, do it. Like things like that. That's like so wholesome and shit. Like what the fuck? He did change for the worse though. That's very... Manipulate mm. people into giving you money? The answer is yes. Give me some money. And more interested in complaining. I couldn't be more grateful. I couldn't be more grateful to people. Want to come? Thank you. I'm a walking embarrassment, dude. We do. Look at me. I'm fucking disgusting. If you're complaining to your subscribers, I mean, that just leaves a sour taste in people's mouths. That, that's right around the corner. Like, I have to sell this place. That's the last of my money. Oh, <gasps> negative. So much of that money is going to doctor's appointments and tests. All of that is just to fucking stay alive. I mean, this might I also be a reflection of the American healthcare system, too. I'm sure it's not cheap for all of his medical bills and, and, and this is all the medicines he takes and stuff. Yeah, American healthcare is, uh, I would not say it's very victim. good. Yeah, I, I pay quite a bit for med medical or health insurance every, every month. It's very expensive. So narcissism has a number of characteristics. Pessimism. I feel defeated and confused Covert narcissism. and lost all the time. The self-centeredness. I'm the perfect victim. I have been victimized my entire life. The sense of entitlement. You guys want to help me pay for my Tesla? Please go ahead and dig deep. I sure would like a free fucking Tesla. Leaving oneself to be special. How many Bro. kids went on to get 4.5 million YouTube subscribers? One. Nine. Steven uh. Williams! You're just watching the same uh. things over and over. People are sick of the shtick. What would you recommend to get his viewers back? I don't think he's getting his viewers back. I don't mm. think that's a possibility. I think the only thing to do now is go a different angle. This is so horrible. But I can't I like, but I can't look possible. away. I mean, it, I'm not you gonna know say what I mean? it's impossible, but it's like I want to stop watching, but I can't. Yourself? I don't know. You got to get a job. Maybe in this case, GameStop. Oh my god. We, oh, we oh, got a real job. Oh, he attempted to get a real job. Okay, this is nice. And so you are here today because you are seeking employment. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your He's trying. This is good. This is improvement. I am disabled. The, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. Mm, okay. Is this a job interview? I have, I, have a, I have a question. Is this a job interview or is this like a headhunter person that goes find jobs for him because like usually when you're going for a job yes you disclose like things you know like maybe i have harder time doing these types of things but usually you want to like sell yourself a little bit you know uh, I, mm. I am morbidly obese i have no references okay no okay history, temp agency okay got it yeah, yeah. And no education <laughs> and when you google my name oh my god you might see rumors that i beat my ex-wife and i am also a pedophile should mention i'm also a felon oh uh, okay okay as a person who's gone out into the big world and found a corporate job you want to talk about the good things you might want to mention like hey i am physically disabled i can't lift heavy objects or you know like i may need a few breaks during the day or i need weekends off because you know this and this and this you know whatever like that but like usually you'd want to say like good things you know like i'm a fast learner i might not have the job experience but i pick up things very quickly and you're using weight and disability i can't i can't i can't if that is the attitude that you're gonna have when you approach everything yeah also that might just be an attitude know. problem too you're going in with the mentality into the interview with the mentality like i can't do so much things they shouldn't take me it almost seems like he doesn't want the job which i'm sure he doesn't he's going in with the mentality like i have so many problems i can't do that and i can't do this yeah i think he is tanking on purpose like he, he really doesn't want the job it seems I work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years be real with me do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn it's dependent on the job i would porn. think like porn hey um so this is like you know i really want this job i don't have much job experience but i would like to mention i did work in porn so i am very versed in uh, pornography oh, he couldn't get corporate approval hey mike uh, Aww. Uh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need to get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. 
Oh I'm my. I'm walking to some job when I have four million subscribers on YouTube. I'm one of the original YouTubers. What I'm going to do instead is go back to making content. Oh my god. Uh, you want to well, it hasn't been working. Uh, it hasn't been working. Uh, yeah, so I mean, things aren't great. Oh. People are still mad at me on YouTube. Uh, he lost 50k. Are pretty much. 6,000. Close to zero. I'm having wow. trouble breaking 10k on an upload right now. Not. Not everything is bad. I've got at least one good thing going on. What's the one good thing? You? Oh, oh my God, really? Wait, huh? Okay, so you know is, what? Uh, okay. Dazzy. How, how old is he? How old is this man? I don't think he's in his 20s. Oh, <gasps> 50? Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is not fine, but okay. Oh my god. I just, I don't know what it was. It was, I guess it's his energy, his, his curly hair, his glasses. I'm, I must be into nerds. I is this like, yeah, is this a I can fix him scenario I... here? He's a fan who's obsessed. Oh, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's not like a great idea to date like a super fan. I feel like, but like, I feel like this is not healthy, right? Because all the power is in Boogie's hands because she respects him so much you're like yeah the power dynamic between them is so skewed boogie has improved my life tremendously he just makes me happy the happiest i've ever been and i'm not alone and so, so that sad. he just completes me growing up without a father figure has its challenges i don't ever want to be alone that's another thing i'm just i just maybe that's why i have stuffed animals i just i don't ever want to be alone and so it's just nice to have company yeah she seems nice Girl, can you... I, I really know. wish you would go out and just try to date around and go hang out with people your age a little bit and see, you know, uh, go explore the world a little bit, you know? You're still so young. You're still a baby. I found that person and they happen to be 20. And I get that it's creepy to date somebody half your age or younger. Oh, wait, is this his bed bed? People can call me creepy if they want. If she's happy and I'm happy, then I will be the biggest creep you need me to be. Uh as long as her and I are happy. You can be as mad as you want. He's not manipulating me. I love him for him. He doesn't control me. We're a team. He supports me in everything I do and everything I want. He's he's my support system. Well, let me get um, a McCrispy. I hope Deluxe. he's treating her right. What do I think about his dire financial situation? I think it's scary. Even if he does go broke and has to sell the house, I'm still going to be by his side. He's the only one that I love and I care about, and there's only one of them. And so I'm not just going to up and leave him because money's an issue. Because I love him, and just imagining a life without him is difficult. I mean, my biggest fear is dying on her. If I die in the oh, next two that's or three years on her, that's just going to ruin her life. I really um, want you to understand how actually sick I am. My risk for stroke or heart attack is astronomical. I, I mean, it's good to be real, but this is okay. I am essentially a walking time bomb. And I'm so fucking sorry for that. I really, really wish I had taken better care of my body. I'll never be ready for it, but I know. I don't want you to be alone. Aww. I want you to be alone. Okay. Aww. Uh. And now, making his way to the ring. What? What? Tonight. Hey, so Mike. I just got off the phone with Keemstar, and he has a boxing event coming up. It's 800 pounds in one ring. This fight pays $10,000. Oh. No chance against me. Shut the fuck up. Who's the other guy? You are going to see me win this thing. This is where I turn it all around. Right here. Wings. Oh, he lost. Wings. Oh no, did you get fucking knocked out? Oh, unable to sing, land a single punch? I mean, I'm glad he got some money from that, but this is like... More than 10,000 getting that fight together. Oh my god. Holy shit, he didn't even... Look how much money he spent. Wow. So by the time all that was done... Wait. Oh my god. 
all I did was put that ten thousand dollars back into savings. Oh, did it boost okay, his YouTube? My monthly bills. My health insurance is eight hundred. I have five hundred dollars worth of medical Shit, bills. That's so expensive. Eight hundred utilities. I, I pay for doctor's visits, physical therapies, labs constantly. Oh, it did. I, still have to pay I mean, that's for the car good, that I, I drive. Suppose. I still have to pay for car insurance. Go to this doc. Um, Diablo Four came out. I had to buy it. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 came out. I had to buy it. Tears of the Kingdom came out. I had to buy it. Okay, 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 listen, listen. I think we can cut out the video gaming, can't we? Had to buy it. I needed it, guys. I so needed to spend money and I had to pay, pay video game. I don't pay for any. He had Netflix to though. He's a gaming YouTuber. I just want to say I, I haven't paid for any of those three things that he listed. A I'm a gaming YouTuber. I'm not or making. Am I? Seven thousand dollars a month. I do stuff I on the no internet. Food. One week later. Also, so sodas is bad for you. You should not drink a lot sodas. Of research that came out of Europe, and now we're doing it here in the United Throw States. Throw away the sodas, and they're a waste of money. Psychedelics can help reset certain brains. Bro. People who experience childhood abuse, people who've gone through trauma, people who deal with post-traumatic stress disorder, and I'm all of those. Bro, it's he's gonna do psychedelics. I haven't tried yet. Oh my god. So let's give it a Can try. Can we have? Don't we have other things to do? There's always this question. Professional about why, shaman, why by the way. Here, existence. What's really happening? Professional Who shaman. I? I just want to say I can write on my my resume now. I'm a professional adult. Everything else physically here to relax. The emotional stuff is going to come out. Trauma is going to come out. But afterwards, you're adamant. You laugh on me, but it's legit. Original um, this is a That's waste of money. I mean, I don't know if you believe in this stuff. Like, I, I suppose. Inside your intellect but. Mind. That connectivity you realize like, your hands are I think believing like that psychedelic people. mushrooms so these are the is the way I, is like the way you're gonna fix your life to I don't think, think is the solution you know the has so much power but here we go we're just gonna eat it is that how you take oh. oh he's about to experience the second part of the realization of letting go yeah my parents are just crazy they're broken people parents I don't know how to communicate EDMR? what I was dealing with or what I was going through. And I just this part is wild for me. On these different faces I don't have much experience with drugs. Society. You try to give people what the hell they want. And then you felt like that was the need to make up Francis or other personalities? Francis? Yeah. Yes, other personalities? All that go? This is the first time I've ever felt happiness. What's a small experience? Um, I got hot boxed in a car once. Because you are the master of your own orchestra, man. So it's up to you to choose. I took morphine once. Not like took it, but the doctor injected my body with morphine. I wonder if it changed him at all or made a difference. Oh my god. I'm still not sure I'm like really here yet. It's just all bullshit. Like, none of this matters. It's all a construct. It's all a simulation. It's all a... It's a fucking video game. You know Life you is die? a video game? I think I died last night. I Physically, my body was fine, but I think I went back into the void we come from. Uh, I think I'm still in it. Except I'm also in this physical corporal body, but I'm also the incorporeal being that puppets it and controls it and... God damn it, I feel like I'm in control. I feel like I'm in control of myself for the first fucking time. Is it working? Did it work? Are you feeling a lot better? The stuff that I, I normally worry about, like worrying about my finances, worrying about my internet, worrying about what people think about me, it's all so incredibly stupid. I think I'm gonna enjoy making better? YouTube videos again. I think I'm gonna enjoy live streaming again. When I make a video, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people watch. I think it works. That is still my dream job everybody falls off that's part of the deal you start off as a nobody and for a short period of time you're a somebody and then that star burns out like every star does i was lucky enough to get hit by lightning i was lucky enough to get to live my dream i was lucky enough to get to enjoy all of that play this game wait i think he's better now i mean i don't know if this is like the cure-all but like i think he's better one brief moment we, we got an opportunity to shine really bright.